We're just going to have a look at a couple of calculations which involve multiplying by 1 and 0 and we can just see that we can save ourselves a little bit of work. So in this calculation 263 multiplied by 40 I'm going to write out my calculation 263 multiplied by 40 and as we know we would normally start with the units so if I cover up the tens digit I could go along and work this out and write it down but what would happen? 0 times 3 is 0 0 times 6 would be 0 and 0 times 2 would be 0 so I'm just going to have a row of zeros because 263 multiplied by 0 is 0 we know if we multiply by 0 then we will have 0 as an answer so because there's a 0 here there is no need to actually worry about multiplying this column we can ignore this 0 digit and we can just move on to our tens but we need to remember because when I'm looking at the tens we've got to use that placeholder so that our answer actually starts in a tens column so 4 times 3 is 12 4 times 6 is 24 add on 1 is 25, carry the 2, 25, 4 times 2 is 8, add on the 2 is 10, so 0, and I finish my calculation so I can write the 1 in. So my answer is 10,520. So by ignoring this 0 and not needing to work out the multiplication for the units, it just saves us a row of working. It means we don't have to have a row of zeros and then do addition at the end. Another digit that it's easy to multiply by is 1. So if we have a number like 367 multiplied by 11, What we need to remember is that whenever we multiply by 1, we end up with the number we started with. So 367 multiplied by 1 is going to be 367. And we can see that as I write it in. 1 7 is 7, 1 6 is 6, 1 3 is 3. And now if we move on to our tens column, again we're multiplying by 1. But we've got to remember to put our placeholder in. But if I multiply this number again by 1, I can see I'm just going to have the same number written down. Just moved along one space. 177, 16 is 6, 13 is 3. So if we remember that, multiplying by 1, it can save us a bit of time and we can easily see that we've got the right two answers. And then we can finish off by adding 6 out 7 is 13. 3 add 6 is 9, add 1 is 10, and 3 add 1 is 4.